It is a well-known fact that India has recently surpassed China as the most populous country in the world. Furthermore, India boasts a significantly larger population of young workers compared to China. Due to its higher birth rate, this demographic gap is expected to widen further in the coming years. Over the past few years, India has experienced a higher GDP growth rate than China. As a result, it is worth exploring the feasibility of India's GDP potentially surpassing China's and determining the estimated time frame for this occurrence. This video will concentrate on a mathematical approach to project the number of years it might take for India to overtake China's GDP under various scenarios. Before delving into the numerical analysis, it is essential to establish two critical assumptions. Firstly, we assume that the exchange rate between the Chinese RMB and the Indian rupee remains constant. This assumption is crucial because we are measuring nominal GDP, which can be influenced by fluctuations in exchange rates. However, it is worth noting that over the past seven years, this assumption may not hold true, as the trend has mostly shown an upward trajectory for the RMB to rupee exchange rate. Secondly, we make the assumption that India will maintain a higher GDP growth rate consistently during the projected period. However, it is worth noting again that a historical analysis spanning 40 years reveals that India has outpaced China's growth rate in only 7 out of those 40 years. Sustaining a high growth rate poses numerous challenges for India. For more in-depth insights into these challenges, I recommend referring to my earlier video on the subject. Now that we have addressed the assumptions, let's proceed with our analysis on the number of years it may take for India to surpass China's GDP. This analysis will be divided into three distinct scenarios, each considering different growth rates that could influence the outcome. Based on the IMF's recent economic outlook update, India's GDP is projected to grow at 6.1% and China's at 5.2% for this year. Let's assume these growth rates remain fixed for all subsequent years. To determine when India's GDP overtakes China's GDP, we need to find the smallest value of T that satisfies this condition. Now, let's use the GDP figures from the last year as the initial values, and we can plot the growth curves for each country accordingly. We can then easily find the point where these two curves intersect. This intersection point represents the moment when India's GDP overtakes China's GDP. And the answer is a whopping 197 years. Let's now imagine a scenario where India undergoes a remarkable industrial transformation, achieving a consistent annual growth rate of 8%, while China's growth rate remains around 5%. The answer is significantly reduced to 60 years. In the final scenario, we adopt a more realistic approach by assuming that India's growth rate remains fixed at 8% for the first 20 years and then decreases to 5% for the subsequent years. Similarly, for China, the growth rate starts at 5% for the first 20 years and gradually declines to 2% thereafter. This model reflects the tendency for a country's growth rate to slow down as it reaches a developed stage. It will take 59 years for India to catch up. In conclusion, under the optimistic scenarios, it appears that India will need at least half a century to catch up with China. Unless there is a substantial change in China's economic situation, or a significant appreciation of the Indian rupee. However, it's essential to remember that GDP is merely a numerical representation of economic output. What truly matters is the quality of life and the well-being of the people. While economic growth is a crucial aspect, it should be accompanied by improvements in living standards, healthcare, education, and overall societal well-being. Ultimately, Achieving a higher quality of life for the citizens should be the primary focus, rather than solely fixating on GDP figures. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel.
by subscribing, you'll stay updated with more high quality videos in the future. Your support means a lot to us, and we look forward to bringing you engaging content that educates and entertains. Stay tuned for more exciting updates.